in orbit uh, was uh, very comparable to what we did in training. Uh, the safer unit itself is just the bottom part of the backpack. You can see it right in, right in there. Uh, and when we got back after the GN2 calibration, we found out that the, uh, the consumption was exactly as we planned. So I got to do a few uh, optional maneuvers, and all I did was go in front of the windows and do some rolls and uh, yaws to try to see how much uh, cross-coupling there was when you weren't using the attitude hold feature of the safer. So what I did here is I put in a roll, and you can see that I'm starting to yaw a little bit as I go around. Uh, if you did without attitude hold, almost every axis has some cross-coupling, and although you could probably you know, fly like that, it would be very difficult, um, if possibly if you were tumbling, to be able to fly out without using uh, the attitude hold. Here we see I'm doing a little bit of a, of a yaw, and uh, the whole, you know, this whole portion of it took about 15 minutes, and right about now I'm running out of gas. We had a, a bingo fuel of 25% uh, of our nitrogen and flying back to my position. So I'm on the arm. Susan's controlling the arm. You can see the arm right there moving backwards, um, simulating, in, uh, simulating the, there's the tail right there. There's the arm moving backwards. You can see that it's simulating a, a translation of the, of the crew member. So the crew member right there stops his rotation, finds his target, and then translates on back. We did a down to the payload bay windows. And you'll see, see that it's a pretty slow process, but uh, there's another portion of it right there. Furthermore, we wanted to test to see if we had to uh, mount this hand controller or we could hold it in our hand. So in a moment here, you'll see that I've taken the hand controller off of my suit, and I'm just holding it in one hand and flying it with the other hand to see if, that it, w if it was controllable. Um, there's another view coming down from the elbow camera. You can see this view coming down, and my target is right there, trying to fly as steady and as straight as I can. And once I reach this point here, hover for 30 seconds. So here's from inside the cabin. I think Blaine was taking this picture. Quick note about some of the other activities that went on after inside the cabin. I think Blaine was taking this picture. You can see that I'm holding the hand controller right here and flying it right there. Just a taking this picture. You can see that I'm holding the hand controller right here and flying it right there.